documents contain many, many inaccuracies. First of all, as far as our financial status, the air, air, airport is at least break-even and may be making a profit this year, which is, a, yes, a reversal of previous years, although the previous year's cash balances never went to zero. So the issue of being self-sustaining is bogus. We are self-sustaining, and we can be self-sustaining, and we will be self-sustaining, even though that's not required by the FAA regulations. Regarding the two acres of land, that is a non-issue. It is not covered by the project, or if it appears to be covered by the project, it is very simple to tell the contractor, leave that two acres alone. That is a bogus issue also. I think what you're ma mainly objecting to is the terms and conditions. I understand that because they, are, they do seem to be complex, but you've already signed, as, as, uh, as Sharon has already said, you've already signed terms and conditions four years ago, the only difference in these terms and conditions have to do with a prohibition on human trafficking and what they call through the fence uh, uh, allowances where if there was a house built on property adjacent to the airport uh, we would not allow a person to have access if they had a, a hangar and access to the runway. As far as the items in the hangars, that's a matter of airport policy. Uh, that's been traditional and as far as the house and other items, the FAA is aware of these items because those items generate revenue. And the FAA's eyes, whatever revenue that we generate to support the airport is allowable. I want to make two other points very clear. First of all, by not signing this grant, you are shifting considerable liability directly to the county from the airport authority. I have consulted with Corsa. I have consulted with our own liability insurance carrier. We have identified several times issues that this grant application attempts to correct. We have presented a plan to you to correct them, and we have presented a way of funding them. So by rejecting that, the liability is shifted from the Huron County Airport Authority to Huron County for any problems that might occur out there due to not fulfilling these contracts or fulfilling these projects. Secondly, we will be back, maybe in the spring, with another grant application, a bigger one. Because what we expect that we'll have another $150,000 added to our entitlement fund. So the issues aren't going to go away. Any other comments? Okay, thank you.